This tutorial is brought to you by flbeattutorials.com. In this tutorial, I want to show you a few things that you can do within the piano roll that will increase your workflow significantly uh, when you're making melodies or uh, bass lines or, you know, anything that you're doing in the piano roll and how you can enhance your workflow and speed things up uh, just a little bit. So right now I'm working on a synth melody uh, that, that I, I have, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, what what we're going to do here to increase our workflow. So I'm going to come up here, and we're going to start making a melody, and uh, we'll just kind of do this as we go. And um, so you can hear the synth that I'm working with right here. Okay, so I just want to do a, a quick little melody with that. So... Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint in my, my first uh, group of notes here. So we're just going to go like this here. Okay, so here's what that sounds like. Okay, so I just want to make a melody out of this. So uh, instead of, you know, going down to my next note here, uh, let's see. Um... Okay, and now uh, normally a lot of people will go like this. So they got our next note here and they just come down here and they paint everything in again. Uh, then they go to their next note, paint everything in again. Now uh, for this uh, specific melody, this isn't too difficult, so that's not too bad. But when you get into more complex stuff, uh, you really want to use this tip, so let's uh, let's backtrack here and uh, let's let's uh go back here. So now we have our, our original part here, and uh, we want to. So what I want to do is hit Control A. Now what that does is selects my four notes that I've already created here. Then I want to hold the Shift key down, and left click and drag. And now I have those four notes here and I can pull it down quickly to my next spot. So now, if we listen back, oops. oh, where's that here? We have this. And now I can go to, uh, here, right click and drag and select these, hold down shift, Click our pencil here, hold down shift, and now I can go up to my next note. And uh, actually, um, you can do it even faster than that because I exited the window uh, is why it did that. So let me do it here. So control A, select everything, hold down shift, left click and drag, Come down here to our next note, and then shift, left click and drag, come up to our next note, and then shift, left click and drag, and go down to our next note, I think should be right here. So now let's listen. Oops. Get rid of that, okay. Okay, so I quickly created the, the first part of our melody, and now for the second half of it, I want to, uh, you know, make it similar, but change the last uh, two notes of the progression. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, Control A again, select all of this, Shift key, left click and drag, bring that over to the next one here. And now I have... Uh, I want to change these last uh, eight notes here and the last two parts. So um, I'm going to go up to my selection tool here and right click and drag here. And um, so let's listen to what we have here. So 
I'm gonna change that up. So I got my selection tool. Let's uh pull these up here and hear what that sounds like. Don't like that last note though. You can uh, right click and drag or left click and drag. I use uh, another DAW software program uh, called Reaper a lot too. And uh, it's very big on the right click. So a lot of times right click is what feels natural to me. Uh, so if uh, you normally use left click to, to use your drag or selection tools, uh, go ahead and do that. And I'm gonna try to find this last note. So I'm gonna go up here and see what this sounds like. Okay, there we go. I like that. Um, and uh, like I said, this this melody that we're working on here isn't too complex, so uh, you don't get a ton of time saving when you're doing something easy like this. Uh, but it would definitely still save me time, especially the way we copied uh, the entire first half and uh, slid it over to the second half, and we just want to adjust a few notes. So uh, definitely use these tips to enhance your workflow. Um, you know, the quicker you can. Uh, get things done and be productive uh the more beats you're going to make the more songs you're going to finish and uh so you just want to take advantage of all the different things you can and just to reiterate uh what we did uh we're using control a in the piano roll to select all the notes um and by holding the shift key you can left click and drag and double everything that you have selected so uh uh, that's really all there is to it and uh you know that does it for this tutorial thanks so much guys for watching and uh, we'll talk to you soon with another fl studio tutorial